you know, we they, they came, uh, jumped out, you know, when they jumped out to their lead, um, you know, we had to make plays. Uh, and, you know, they're, they're one of these teams, this, this league, you know, I've said it all year, most of the coaches have said it all year, you know, someone has to be number one, someone has to be number 10, um, but there's not much difference. Uh, maybe Noah's a little different, but everyone else, there's not much difference. So, you know, you forget looking at the numbers, you have to play and you have to play well to win every night. And they came out and they played with a sense of purpose and their execution. I thought Creighton's execution uh, was, was, was at a high level today. And so we got to the point when we need someone uh, to step up. And you've heard me say all year, when we need bats, because everyone knows who we're going to, um, one of these two and it's usually him. Um, and so he answered today. Yeah, you know, th th they do a good job. They, they were focused. They were, they were, they were extremely aggressive um, uh, with how they played, uh, uh, and, and it, was, it was effective. It was effective. And so then, then you get to thinking about that, then we got a few shots that I think we normally make that we didn't make, and then all of a sudden you get tight. Um, but it was just caused, it was caused by their communication, their aggressiveness. Over on the right, Rich. Yeah, Coach, a, a sense of relief, or does this kind of tight game give you reason for optimism or anything like that? Can it be both? <laughs> Can it be both? <laughs> um, uh, you know, to get, to get the first win it is a sense of relief. Um, but, at this, but we are optimistic going forward. Um, and so now we have to watch this game uh, and going to play a very good team, whichever one wins tomorrow. Over here on the left, Patrick. So I'm sorry, what was the last clause you said they wanted to what? They wanted to kind of be physical at tonight. What did you say the first time? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear you. I just want to make sure everyone um, heard you. I mean, I was trying to be patient. I had three turnovers, you know, that was on me. But going into the game, we knew they were going to double team and um, was just trying to find my teammates. Right here in the middle. Is that three pointer you hit with about five minutes to play? What was your thought process on that when you hit him with the, the hesitation move? Were you. Mm -hmm. I mean, at that point, they were uh, on the run, and you know, I, I really just wanted to make a play, and you know, the guys were were looking for me to make something happen. So, you know, at that point, that was what I wanted to do. In front, Mark. Can you talk about the new these guys? I think by combined 14 points in the previous two. Mm -hmm. Uh, not at all. I mean, they played, you know, a lot faster today. Uh, their transition was really well, and they, uh, on defense, they were really physical. And I knew today, you know, we beat them two times uh, previously. So, you know, third time, you know, it's like, it, I mean, it's hard to beat anybody three times in, in a year. So uh, we knew they were going to come out tough, and, you know, they, they, they definitely earned, you know, s somewhat of respect. In the middle, Ben. <clears throat> Uh, just communicating, I mean, talking on defense. I know we lost him a few times, and he got a lot of good looks at the basket. But, you know, he, he's a good player, and, I mean, he's, he's going to make, you know, make shots. And then we, we let him get off early, and, you know, that's what he continued to do. Over on the right, Ted. Coach, talk to us about your decision to go zone late. Your guys really executed in an outstanding manner. Your call to switch to zone. They really had trouble getting looks in the zone. Yeah, I, I, they were – they were getting too many easy looks against our man-to-man, -man. Um, and they were putting us in difficult situations. And so, you know, usually, you know, I guess conventional wisdom says when you play against a team that can shoot like they do, you don't go zone. Um, but you know, we 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 did today, and it worked. Uh, it was to our benefit. Right here, Ben. For sure, for sure. I mean, last year, you know, we, we went down the first game to DePaul and, you know, we watched the game yesterday and we didn't know, you know, who to, who we were going to play. So at that point, uh, you know, that game kind of, you know, played over and over again in our head and then, you know, Creighton ended up winning and we knew it would be tough against them also. Georgetown, thank you. Thank you.